Hi everyone, this is Jack from Jagzy Production and welcome to our first official tutorial on how to build a chat program using Python. And in this video, I'm going to explain some really, really beginner stuff um, such as uh, the version of Python you'll be using, how to indent, dedent, how to uh, run scripts, what are the, the shortcut um, from the keyboard and what is modules and what are classes really are so if you already know all of this stuff please uh, skip it and go to the next video for those who don't know uh, please uh, watch this video as they're really really important and will come up really often as you as you progress in programming okay so let's start first um, uh, the version of Python that I'll be using is is Python 2.7 so if you you um if you don't have python so if you have anything from python 2.0 to 2.7 you're actually pretty okay but if you have python 3. Point, 3. Point something you're not okay because this version of python is not compatible with a lot of uh libraries that are available online so python 3.x is actually pretty new. So a lot of um, things are are not updated to Python 3. So Python 3 uh, 2.7 is really you know currently the most stable and um, the most compatible version of Python. It's like you know Python 2.7 uh, 2.7 is like Windows 7 and Python. 3 is like Windows 8. A lot of uh, software do not work on Windows 8 yet. Anyways, um, apart from the version, I'll talk about some shortcuts. Shortcuts that you will be using a lot when you program. So the first shortcut is F5. And this is to run the module. Okay, so whenever you, you write something like let's say uh, wait I just going to uh, comment the region so let's say uh, let's say a pr uh, print a okay how I run it I can click here and click on run module but there's a lot of uh, programmers are really lazy on the fingers of their right hand so they prefer you know press a key on their keyboard to uh, to run this module so I just press F5 on my on my keyboard and you see here it's print it's printing A it's printed A all right it's pretty good so next next shortcut um, is indent and dedent so indent a way to indent is the tab key or control plus this thing right here sorry for the sound okay so how to dedent is control plus this thing All right so let's say I want to put this in the function the function a and function a prints a uh, let's say I, I was uh, I was in I was in a rush and I don't know how to indent. I I was um, I didn't indent it, so I just going to select this. I press Control, and uh, this this little symbol I don't know what it's called, but this uh, little punctuation mark right here. So I press this, I indent. All right. So if I like press this so many times, how do I restore it? Well, you just select you know the line plus all the space space you've wasted and you did end with this key oh sorry so only select this line and indented and now it didented now I indented again alright you see the point okay so now this uh, these three shortcuts you'll be using them really really a lot as uh, as you progress uh, in scripting okay, so next thing I'll talk about is modules what is module 
module I'm pretty sure you when you when you Google or uh, you read some documentation on uh, whatever website you know tutorials at some point they're going to use the word module and a lot of uh, people are just confused what is module so what is module it is basically just a file that contains class classes and definitions so the file that I'm on right now is called test.py py this I can call this a module the module test is the is the mo is the file that I'm on right now I can call it the module test right so the module test this is a file that contain classes and definitions so here I have classes and and this in this file I can have definitions like I can say a define um, some definition and you know, print some definition you know whatever whatever right so you just print some stuff so this thing is a module so module is just a file that contains class and definition and why would we call it module because usually in module the, the, uh, it's it's a file that contains only classes and definitions so it's it's a file that contains method it's like the engine right you 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 know the the engine of a car is not like the car's door the car's tire the car's um uh seat uh the car's uh uh light or whatever you know it's it's not the pieces of a car it's the engine of a car so um a lot of programmers have uh a file a file uh in which they write all the graphical you know all the structure in s the pieces of information in it and they will have an additional file where in which they write all the methods like all the interaction between objects and things inside so it's so a module is like uh, a place where the uh, the definitions all the definitions are stored you can um, you can uh, see it that that way so uh, you know what is definition so what is a class class is basically just a container of of bunch of that for bunch of definitions so I wrote a class called letter and in this class letter I have a lot of definitions and the reason why class exists like the, w the reason why you know the guy invented this class thing is because at one point um, there are just so many definitions and uh, people want to group the similar definitions together they want to use something and so the class is created you know it's it, I mean it's it's pretty logic like here I said um, class letters and the class letters are definitions that are letters you know so I group all the similar stuff together and uh, this basically it. then the class is just a container uh, it's a box that contains a bunch of definition that's that's what all the mystery is is just some some definitions and uh, you can you can view class as uh, as imagining so if if you want uh, like more uh, visual uh, visual comprehension of what a class is is that you can imagine class as an object like imagine any object uh, like say let's say a harmer so class harmer with a class harmer the class harmer has many definitions which means has many functions you know let's say harmer hit right hit and this uh, will hit something and a harmer it can it can fix stuff so you know fix things so you can view class as an object that can have a different uh, functionality or you can just uh, you can just think class as a container for a bunch of definitions 
that you want to access from other file. Alright, so this is it for today's tutorial and uh, in the next actually in the next half of this episode I'm going to talk about to officially start um, uh, programming uh, or chat program and we'll talk about uh, some stuff in import and we'll be using a tiki enter to create our first uh, windows based uh, graphical user interface Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave it above. Uh, leave it below the video. Sorry, uh, my, you know my head is really messy right now. It's uh, 6 a.m. Uh, in the morning here. But anyway, uh, so uh, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe for uh, keep uh, keep getting updated. And see you in the next video.